Welcome to Friday Night End Zone. All of your local high school football scores and highlights live right here on NBC Nebraska Scott's Bluff. Great show for you, so let's get right to it. The Sydney football team looking to keep their undefeated season alive as they were at home tonight taking going three and three Kozad. This contest, our showstopper game of the week. Let's go to some of the highlights. Pick things up. First quarter, Red Raiders down seven and it's Reed Fiscus knocking the ball free. And guess what, folks? It's a fumble. Luke Holly falls on it. That's complete the Raiders. Red Raiders ball. Now Sydney trying to take advantage. It's a seven yard run from Reese Darcy. Then, guess what, folks? Isaac Doty begins to take over. Taking it himself for a short game. That play worked so well after the snap and the run. That play worked so well. Guess what? They do it again. This time, Doty in for the touchdown. Red Raiders still down by just one point. On the last drive of the half is Sydney's Patrick McCartney showing the defensive skills as he gets the pressure and he comes up with the quarterback sack. Good pressure and good sack. And guess what? In the end, Sydney remains undefeated as they pick up the 26-21 win over Kozad tonight. Up next for the Red Raiders, a big one at Ogallala next Friday night. The Garing football team at home tonight in a key district contest taking on Grand Island Northwest. Let's go to some of the highlights. Now we pick things up first quarter. First drive of the game, Garing quarterback Reese Knight with a nice pass to wide receiver Baron Williams. Good scramble and then a good throw and good catch by Barron. That would set up the touchdown run by Tanner Gartner. And guess what? Gearing up 7-0 at this point. Next drive for the Vikings, quarterback Camden Jensen with the quarterback keeper for a nice run. But on the next play, Gearing's defense coming up big as they force a fumble. Creighton Bills recovers for G-Town. A few drives later, still in the first, Vikings quarterback Camden Jensen with the nice pass to wide receiver Easton Bachman. Garing, though, would hold them again on this drive. We move into top of the second quarter as Garing's driving the ball all the way down, and it's Mr. Garner. Punching it in for the G-Town touchdown. And Gehring at this point leading by double digits. But in the end, Gehring comes up short, falling to Northwest 32-31. As Northwest would score in the last couple seconds in that game. Speaking of last couple seconds, the Scotts Bluff football team also in District B5 action. Taking on Hastings in another key district matchup. Let's head out to Hastings. Now, Scott Clough would take a 21-6 halftime lead in this one. Third quarter, Bearcat moving the ball again, and it's Sebastian Boyle doing Sebastian things as he bullies his way for a Bearcat first down. However, the drive would end due to a turnover. Hastings, unfortunately, they cash it in almost immediately. Nash Robinson takes the handoff and he scores the touchdown to bring Hastings even closer. In the end, Hastings comes all the way back in this contest as they score in the final seconds to earn the 29-28 win over Scott's Bluff in a close contest. Now, the first local team to wrap up the regular season is Bridgeport. Bulldogs were taking on Morrill to wrap up the regular season and looking to finish a perfect 4-0 in District D-111. Pick things up, first quarter, Bridgeport driving, and it's the always dangerous Peyton Nabbitt on the run, and he scores the touchdown. 
8-0 Bulldogs. Later in the quarter, Bridgeport's defense making a huge play on the pass. Harrison Barnett with the interception, and he turns it into a pick six for the Bulldogs. After Bridgeport's defense holds again, Bulldogs on offense again, and it's Peyton Abbott again, taking it all the way for the touchdown. But moral folks, they're not folding. Kaiser Lewis on the run, goes up the middle, shows off the speed, and he takes it to the house. In the end, Bridgeport, though, picks up the win 90-20. to 20.